Hi guys, Natasha with Natasha Scrapbook Corner. I um, finally finished my um, second load of the thank you uh, cards. Uh, the um, challenge, uh, thank you my for the challenge uh, that I'm hosting. Uh, it's the, and the one that's been closed and the name of the challenge is thank you my favorite store uh, so I will be doing drawing uh, in a bit uh, and I will be back with another video on drawing and show showing you all entries that I have received um, I want to thank um, everybody again who participated and uh, if everything goes well, uh, I will be hosting uh, that challenge next January as well. Uh, so, the purpose of the Thank You uh, My Favorite Store uh, challenge was to thank uh, your favorite online or local craft store, store owner for their uh, hard work. Um, that they do are uh, trying to supply us with the um, such a variety of products that we can craft with um, I before I had my own store um, I would not even um, understood a slight a bit teeny tiny bit of amount of work that goes in those uh, it's huge and that's why I'm doing this challenge so there is three more cards that go into uh, three different stores that I like um, the first one is okay the the, um, the cards are all the same uh, style and you're supposed to be doing a thank you card and you were supposed to be including a sweet gift so that was the challenge so um, each card that I was creating I was creating uh, trying to use the goods that um, that store carries uh, and the way that I thought about it uh, the card should be displayable so the person uh, the store owner could put it on their desk or shelf and uh, see it without any you know like specific um, so it could be this could be displayed so there therefore I am uh, not writing and I hate write in the, in the cards anyway um, I'm I'm adhering like a sticky note type of thing um, so they can remove it um, and uh, display the card as uh, just a piece of you know decoration and um, have a little thank you um, reminding them uh, um, of how much we all appreciate uh, their hard work so um, on this one I used uh, flowers and you <laughs> might um, guess who it is yes it's um, wild orchid craft flowers and uh, um, it's going I, I hope I can you know backtrack I am not really connected with with wild orchid craft store owners but I know it's um, I don't cannot think of their names now uh, but it's I think husband and wife uh, who um, does this amazing work and I've been customer of wild orchid crafts for years um, I don't know four five years and uh, um, I really love the uh, quality of their products and um, the uh, they ship they're in UK um, but their shipment is for international shipping is uh, very fast and they're very accurate there was no mistake with my order uh, it's just absolute experience is absolutely amazing so um, uh, so I used the wild orchid craft roses and a tool from my stash and I do not need to go um, in a further details because um, their flowers they make the project um, because of their dimension about uh, because of their 
quality um, I use the pearls also and I decided that all my thank you cards will be carrying that uh, different images of me to you it's my favorite uh, collection it's a teddy bears with the blue nose and um, they got uh, it's I think it, uh, it's UK uh, brand as well it's copyrighted so um, guys uh, you don't don't use it for um, commercial purposes please they uh, do print cards and they do print stickers and now they're coming up with the papers and so it, this brand uh, grows uh, by day uh, so I included two things that I love the this image and and their um, the roses and a little touch of pearls it's always elegant they are a very elegant um, company and uh, thank you and those hearts they coming out of this banner let me take the tag out uh, and that's uh, um, I purchased it a while ago the doilies they got the, like a collection of different assortment of different doilies and created a pocket out of it and put uh, a little few pearls and here is my note gonna goes in here so um, that's it basically the same thing gonna go in the other cards uh, here for the chocolate bar I punched out with Martha Stewart border punch use one of their doilies and again uh, the uh, fl floral arrangement out of wild orchid craft roses uh, a tool uh, bow and uh, they did have uh, bling centers so I, I used those oh did I say you they had this bows yeah this satin bows I love bows so I'm always buying things that I love pearls bows flowers okay so a uh, next one is in the purple family and that is for sweet sweet D who is the owner of elegant embellishments and um, uh, she has amazing sales on uh, the Facebook group and uh, so uh, she has absolutely wonderful design team uh, and uh, Dee loves purple or lilac so um, I chose this cardstock, a textured cardstock and I used her beautiful uh, polka dot um, gathered uh, trim lace or however you would want to call it um, I did the banner and a couple wild orchid craft roses and uh, here is this teddy and she's in a jump um, she's a um, cheerleader and uh, D is by spirit she is a, a cheerleader she's an amazing organizer and uh, um, amazing hostess and uh, just she got those social skills and what I love about Dee uh, that um, she can phrase um, the uh, sentence or description in such elegant way I that I never even can wrap my mind around so um, she is um, amazing so I used one of the spellbinders doilies for the back uh, and here is the spray of flowers the magnolia flower from my store the wild orchid craft and this is any um, the um, Miss Garden Grove one and uh, this is the trim from D and this is the trim from my store and this uh, vintage brooch is a just a uh, clip earring and it's just clip so she can use because D loves bling um, and inside uh, again uh, thank you die cut with the flying hearts that came uh, from the banner and this frame die cut and it's sparkled because she likes sparkle and the centerpiece I uh, made into the tag 
and just adhere the uh, Wild Rocket Craft Flower. And Adi carries this a really cute um, um, chiffon rosette uh, hearts. Um, and I, so I use that as a pocket for my note. So that's the card. And I absolutely love this give, uh, the chocolate wrapping. So um, punch out the hearts and use this vintage lace. And it created such a nice curtain in here. And I'll look on the uh, floral arrangement. I just gathered the trim, put the bling, um, and put some flourishes. Oh my gosh, this is so elegant and so deep. So that one goes to D. And the last one um, is uh, uh, for Archana, who is a uh, crafty city. Uh, and um, Archana carries the uh, variety of um, dyes and variety of flowers, including wild orchid craft flowers uh, uh, and uh, tilde papers. So go ahead and check her out. And Archana is absolutely amazing crafter. If you will uh, trail back and see her videos on her projects, oh my gosh, she is absolutely amazing. So for her, I uh, chose this teddy bear with a stack of gifts and I just glitter up the gift wrapping and I use her sprays and her uh, flowers here and I use some millinery mesh from my store and um, I'm not sure if that probably is already is one little dreamer um, trim you know pieces but they were matching so good with this color of the uh, turquoise paper and uh, when it opens up here it's a little uh, different uh, layout so I use uh, thank you uh, in here the die cut and I put the thank you in here I just thought it's different and um, because this flower was sticking out so I'd hear it on the back so you can you know so it will be oh and the paper um, I adhere this uh, washi tape because uh, when I was scoring, you know, sometimes paper falls apart, you know, on a seam. So I was forced to uh, reinforce it with the washi tape. But this is, look how cute it's going to be displayed on in your room on a shelf. Isn't that gorgeous? And that will remind you of uh, what exactly you are thankful for. So because... Yeah, it's just, I just think it's a wonderful idea. And her chocolate bar has a wider border. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and um, here it is. I had the scrap of the doily from my stash. Then I cut the strip of paper and uh, did uh, the punch out. And then I score it into that, you know, um, rosette, the paper rosette. And uh, at first, you see these layers right here and here? It was two cuts that I made because the length and depth of the strip was not correct. So I cut it once and I hate to uh, throw scraps, therefore. Here it is, layered rosette, <laughs> and I put the um, uh, raisin uh, ro rose that's been gifted to me by Lily, uh, Lily Lineka, who is Shabalicious, uh, and um, those are the flowers from Archana's store, Crafty City, and uh, uh, of course, Mulinary um, tool to match the project. So those are my uh, thank you uh, cards for three wonderful shops uh, and I will be including just a little bit more goodies uh, with it uh, so thank you so much for watching stay tuned for the pictures otherwise I'll talk to you later bye
Thank you.